So you can go here, resources. And click on download resources. It will redirect you to um, Google Drive. And these are all the materials. Because the topic today is going to be about um, actually Thai Evergreen song because I only know the previous one. So I don't know what are the latest um, artists or music that you hear to this time. But I used to hear a lot of Thai music as well because my hometown is actually quite near to Betong. Yeah, Betong. So I always uh, go there actually to eat Tom Yum. Is anyone okay? Um, okay, everyone, I want to make sure how many of you guys is actually bring your laptop to follow the workshop or everyone just have like mobile phones with them. Okay, so let me see a raise of hands for those who bring laptops. I just want to count it. One, two, three, four, five. Only five persons with the laptop because our methods of delivery. Yeah. The tablet, sorry. The tablets, who brings tablet today? Okay, one, two, three, four. Only four tablets and five laptops, so nine person with the proper, <laughs> proper machines to learn. <laughs> this smart screen, the rest. Yeah. So, um, what we are going to do now is that uh, it's going to be quite hard uh, to do or edit your uh, PDF. Uh, or PowerPoint if you are using mobile phones because this screen is small. So what we can do right now is that to those who doesn't bring laptops or tablets, you can just like follow the steps by steps who's going to be shown by uh, my uh, team, Lisa. And to those who's bring uh, laptop or tablet, uh, you can 
be a bit more uh, hands-on or you can just go next to those who has tablet or laptops and share how we are gonna like do the uh, materials so everyone has uh, download their resources or uh, is there any problem during enrollment that they cannot go in or anything let me see a raise of hands or is everyone's okay yeah I think everyone's is okay Okay, so now the hands-on part. So I'm gonna invite uh, my team, Lisa, for a short moment. So we are gonna break around 2.45, so we are gonna have around like 15 minutes introduction on how to do uh, the material. So let's invite Lisa. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Okay, um, my name is Lisa. Okay, I will um, review on how to design and structure a digital flip book uh, using a, uh, for this workshop, we're using a Microsoft, Word, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, sorry, yeah. Okay, the the resources that you have been download will be used for uh, hands-on. So let's say we have a PowerPoint. So for the content, you have to design in a PowerPoint. Then um, you can design the, install all the images, the structure everything. After that, you convert it into the PDF so that it can be uploaded in the um, Flipbook crea uh, software creation. Sorry, the internet quite slow.
Okay. This is a manual on how to convert uh, from PowerPoint to the PDF. Okay. First, there are two options. Either you just save as PDF or you use the print option and choose PDF. Okay. See this one? Can you see if you have a PowerPoint? Then you click File, and then next you save as uh, Adobe PDF. There are option here. So once you have complete your PowerPoint, you then you click Save as an Adobe PDF. There are option here. Then you click Save. Okay, the next option is you click File and then you select Print option. Okay, since I think most of you cannot download the materials because the internet connection is like really slow and I've been downloading it as well as we speak and it cannot be downloaded that fast even though I'm using my own personal hotspot to do that and not by tech Wi-Fi. So the best thing that we could do for this workshop so that you can go back home with something is that do you have any latest PowerPoint presentation that you have? Do you have it? Uh, with um, pictures and any related uh, resources or materials or if you don't have your latest PowerPoint presentation, you can do a new one and then take any pictures or any videos and embed in the PowerPoint so that we can uh, provide it as a PDF. To those who can download it, you can uh, still follow our steps. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Actually, the um, the YouTube files or the videos is to be uploaded to the software that we are going to use now. So don't embed anything yet to the um, PDF file that we are going to do. So it's not going to work because it's already been rasterized. Sorry for the misinformation. So yeah, I'm going giving it back to Lisa. Okay, sorry for the problem. Okay, actually. Uh, all the PowerPoint that you have, actually whatever you have in a PowerPoint in your hand, you just use it. Then if you have any video, you just put in the PowerPoint. Uh, put uh, no, not put in the PowerPoint. You just put a place place to put in the uh, vi video or anything uh, like um, just a first place holder only. Then we can we, after we convert it to PDF, then we can use that to upload in the. Isu as a flipbook software uh, creation. Okay, now everybody have a PowerPoint. So first thing is to save it as a PDF. That's the process. Uh, that's a step to convert from uh, PowerPoint to PDF. The easiest way is go to file and then save as the PDF. Then it will convert it to PDF. Okay, that's the next is I will show you how to upload in the Isu to make it a flip book. That is will be after the refreshment. <laughs> so sorry for the confusion. I'm so sorry.
so everything is fresh. <laughs> you have a refreshment. Okay, this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start all over again if you can. Okay. For this um, part three, I would like to show you how to create a flip book. For first of all, what we need to to have it is a PDF file. In order to create a flip book, first we need a PDF file. So you can create a PDF file in uh, with any uh, software, like for example Microsoft Office. For this workshop, I will use a Microsoft PowerPoint to convert it into PDF. Before that, you have to structure all of your content uh, accordingly. But for the for the interactive elements such as audio, video, and animation, if any, you can put uh, up put or add it later in the uh, Flipbook software uh, maker. Like for example, in this workshop, we will use Isu as a free um, Flipbook maker. Okay. This is a sample of a PowerPoint that I've uh, created uh, for to, uh, for making a album, a music album of an evergreen Thailand song. Uh, I apologize if uh, it's a quite old because uh, old song because this is the song that uh, I know and also it's my favorite songs like a uh, Bert Tong Chai and Karaba Band is like my favorite. Um, Chris, okay. <laughs> um, so um, I will proceed uh, to convert it into the PDF. So I will show you. First of all, there's a, there are two options to convert it into the PDF. First, you can um, you can go to file and save it as a. Say in the desktop. Uh, you can choose um, save type as a PDF. Then it will convert it into a PDF. And the other option is okay. Uh, you still go to the file and choose print. And there are option. Okay, they are print to PDF. So there are two options to convert it into the PDF. One is save as a dot PDF, and one is using a print, and then just print it to PDF. So you automatically convert it into PDF. Okay, now we have already have a PDF file, so we move on to. Um, upload it into our face, uh, Flipbook uh, software maker. So we use a free Flipbook maker for this workshop because so that everyone can go into it. Uh, so it's a issue. Okay, let's uh, let's proceed. Okay. Mm. okay, this is issue. Flipbook maker is a free, but again, if you, are, you want to have uh, more features, you need to subscribe and pay more. But I just use a basic one. So you log in, for example, <coughs> then you choose either Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn. So I choose Google, and then this one. Oh no.
use another one because I don't know why it suddenly appear a security code. Actually, once you have logged in, in uh, using your Google or Facebook, you go, you'll be directly directed to this page. Okay, first, you need to upload your PDF file using uh, this upload button. Then you uh, drag your PowerPoint file here. For example, this one, I'm using the one that I already have. Okay, now it's uploading. Maximum file that can be uploaded is 100, 150. So that is why we cannot uh, embed uh, the video or audio previously in a PowerPoint or any other software because it cannot upload more than 100, 150 MB. Take time a while. Okay. Now it already been uploaded, but there is no an uh, any interactive an interactive element yet. So first of all, before you want to add the interactive uh, element, you need to uh, publish it first. But before that, you need to fill out all the details first, the title and description if you want to add. But the title. You is a compulsory because it's a happy star. Okay. okay, for example, it's a workshop. You just choose whatever type, but I just use a magazine, magazine the editorial. This one, you need to have subscribe. Yeah, you need to upgrade the um, the issue because they are require more features. Then you need to pay more. But this is for the basic one. You just give it a link so that the student can access it to the Facebook. Okay, then. Oh yeah, because this is a new creation of um, account, so you need to verify your email first in order to publish. So I need to verify it first.
publish button now can be clickable. So you publish now. Once you publish, then the this pop-up will be appear because you want to make an enhancement. So before you make an, any any enhancement or add, uh, add any elements, so you need to publish it first. So we click to enhance. So you add link and videos. So you you just choose whatever uh, you want to add the interactive element. For example, for a video uh, for the MP3, just for example this one. You just copy the link from YouTube. Click done, there will be appear this link, and you still can edit or delete it if you, you think it's wrong link or whatever. And then you click save. Okay, then you can proceed with this two MP3. Okay, we just go to the next. Uh, next thing. For example, this is a. Uh, Video clip. You just do the same thing. Oops. Sorry. done same click save so you can uh, add to others but I just show you once for if you got any just a link a like a hyperlink also you can do like for example for this profile maybe you can link to the this bank group profile is a web then you just insert URL Again, you click save. Okay, now we want to review it. We go to the view spread first, then view in the reader. You see how it goes. This is a hyperlink. When you click, it goes to the uh, profile, the, the bank profile. Sorry. Okay. You can 
going through here. Right. Okay, I'm going to keep full screen now. This is a video clip. Okay, then you just view your Facebook. If you want to make any enhancement again, you just go back to your probably to the this one back to the page. Then you edit again, add anything you want to add, and even you can um, add any images also, if you can see. So I think that's all for how to make it uh, to upload and make it uh, Facebook in a uh, Facebook Maker. We use ISU here. Okay, is there any question? For the PowerPoint, I think you may see that they are different a bit, right? But actually, I think this one have because I already tried and it doesn't look like this. I don't know, maybe my file already corrupted when we download it here. Um, actually, it will be exactly the same whatever in a PowerPoint. The, the, the design, the color, everything should be the same. It's nothing like this, like pixelizes. So if you have any problem or any issue, you can just raise and raise your hand. Any, yeah, yeah. Uh
software that you use. Some features in our some software is selected option. Actually, you can embed uh, into the LMS or move or direct. Uh, we can give it them a link to this uh, to view this report. Uh, some you can download it and embed it. It's like using the iframe something like that. Embed it into your uh, learning management system or your MOOC platform and uh, any online. Uh, so yes, it can be. Uh, can be embedded and put to the using the other and another can be because I already tried using uh Moodle, you can you can do it. And then I also use a few platforms, yes it can be it can be done. Yeah. So uh, I believe uh, there are like no more questions. So I think the workshop has ended. So to those who wants to stay <laughs> and uh, and follow or get our advice, we can still like go and go to you and guide you step by steps. So to those who wants to stay, we'll be there and guide you. And to those uh, who wants to go to another parallel sessions, so you 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 may go. But before that. I want to say if we have like any lacking in giving the instructions or anything, you can just always go to our online uh, classes that we have set up, that you have enrolled so you can get all the resources and the instructions on how to create your flipbook. So thank you so much, Kap Kun Ka. So if we did any mistakes, Kotot Na Ka. Uh, for the insightful presentation. I think we 
uh, have a new application. I think it's very easy for me and for us to show the, the material. Uh, if we have a speed can do a PowerPoint, because I think everyone can do a PowerPoint already. So just only upload into this application is true. So it's okay if you can be uh, material for the move. I think it's really easy. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to our speaker, Professor Sawaini and Lisa. Okay. Thank you. Now may I present our speaker with a token of appreciation. Please give to Okay. 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 Okay.